Hey guys, this is Gloria. I am back with a collective haul from the thrift store as well as uh, Dollar Tree and Target. So I will start with the thrift store since that bag is closest to me. I picked up these five millimeter pearls. They look like bubbles and they were only 25 cents. So I went on and grabbed those. Uh-oh, better show you this before I break it. It's this little kitten bank and I thought it was so cute. It was only a dollar. It does have the little stopper in it. I thought she'd be pretty sitting here in my craft room. So I did grab her. I grabbed um, three of these little frames. They're like little plastic heart shaped frames. They were 25 cents each. One of them is red and the others the other two are gold and I thought those would be um, pretty cute to do something for Valentine's Day so I went on and picked those up I found these little tiny stars they do have a little hole in them so you can actually um, bead these on or you know stitch them on to something but they were only 30 cent and they're five millimeters it says it has 400 pieces in there I thought it would be cool too to use for um, shaker cards. I found these two needle art peel and stick mounting boards. It says it's for textile art. Um, the reason why I got it is because it's like a foam um, board and it's sticky. And so I was thinking I could probably use these and run them through my die cutting machine depending on if, you know, if it kind of squishes down because it's kind of hard. So I don't know, but I went on and picked them up because they were only um, 50 cent a pack. Um, I also picked up these, and these were $0.25 cent each. I just thought the colors were very pretty. Um, this one is kind of a peachy, tan, coral, I don't know, <laughs> color. And then this one is a pretty green color. So these were $0.25. Cent. It's just some, some rope, some type of yarn rope stuff. And then from there, I also picked up this box, and this was $1.00. And it had these little Rolodex cards in the inside of it. And I thought that these would be cool um, because what you could do with these is you can just stick this on the bottom of a Rolodex card that you make. And it doesn't have to be a Rolodex. So, you know, say for instance, if I wanted to maybe cut this down and make this a Rolodex and you can just glue that right in there and then you have an instant rolodex card where you don't have to you know if you didn't have the punch or if you didn't have a die that cuts out that rolodex part you can always just you know glue that right down onto your um, rolodex card and have a rolodex so i thought those were really neat and this whole box was one dollar i think it's missing one pack maybe of these but i mean there's plenty of them in this box so that was a dollar. So that is all that I picked up from the thrift store this time around. Um, then I picked up, uh oh, let me see. Oh, I got one more thing. One more thing from there. This was a quarter. These are just some cream color sequin. I thought this was a really nice color. It's not coming across on um, film, I don't think, but it is cream. It's not white and it's not yellow. It's a really pretty cream color. So picked up those because I don't think I have anything like that. So then I ran over to Target um, and I found some really cute things over there. Um, this is in the new dollar spot section. Um, I just thought that these were so pretty. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it as of yet, but it was too pretty to pass up. They only had one of these pinks and one of these teals, and they also had a bunch of red ones, but I just picked up these two. Thought they'd be really cute to um, embellish, and I'm thinking you could probably also use these and make like a little mini album to go down inside of them because they are dimensional. Oh, that's pretty. I didn't even realize that they were striped colored in the inside. So imagine, you know, making a, um, a little mini album to go down inside of there. And then um, this is 
like some double-sided foam. And I guess you take this off and stick it down so that it'll close. But you can always put some Velcro right there. That is really cute. And you can decorate the box. So I did just pick up two of those. Um, they did have a bunch of clearance ornaments. So I picked them up. You know, my tree, all three of my trees are pink and white. Um, one is like a vintage theme. One is like a just a girly theme and then the other one is I guess it's just a girly theme as well but I went on and picked up these little ornaments these were regular three dollars and I got them for um 90 cent here's another little poodle and this one is white with pink and then this one is pink with white um I'm actually just gonna toss this stuff in my box to put up for next year i also picked up some of these bags i thought these bags were really cool they were only 45 cents and you can actually use them all year long um and then i picked up this one this one was a little bit more expensive it just says mary on there this one is by the sugar paper and i thought this was a really nice masculine bag so I don't know why it looks on camera like it's really dirty or ashy or something, but it's really not. Um, picked up a cookie. I didn't make any butter cookies um, for Christmas. I wanted to, but time just kind of got away from me. So I picked that up for myself to enjoy. Um, all of the cookies and you know candy and stuff like that was just 50% off. Um, I did pick up these little... Um, marshmallow spoons as well try those out in some hot cocoa here's another ornament that i picked up it's this little cute little bird and um it's gonna match perfectly on my tree upstairs and then i found this little unicorn is so pretty and this kind of it's it's pinkish but it's also kind of like a lavender i don't know but it's really pretty and i think it'll still blend in with the pink very very well those were 90 cents each and we just put some of this away and let me show you what else i got i was so proud of myself because i cleaned up my desk today and here i am dirtying it back up with all these goodies um so i found this house and it has the gold on the top and I don't know if, yeah, I think it is scratched up on here, but it was only a dollar. The girl rang it up for a dollar. Um, it probably should have been like a dollar and some change or something because this stuff was 70% 70, 70 off, but um, she rang it up for a dollar. But this is the one where you can put like the battery operated like it's like a tea light and so it lights up i thought that was really cool so i'll probably end up painting this and embellishing this a little bit more anyway so i didn't mind that it was a little scratched up on the front um and then i got two of these little bags i can't remember these were 60 cent a piece so i just picked up two of those still a good deal to put up for next year um, I picked up these stars and it was three of them for a dollar and fifty cent they were regular five dollars so I picked up those um, this big old thing of peanut butter cookie mix was a dollar and nine cents so I picked this up it's huge it's like actually heavy so I picked that up to make some peanut butter cookies if I tried to make some from scratch and when they came out the oven, they were good. But then once they settled, they were like super sweet. I don't know what happened. I followed the recipe to a T, but I don't know. Um, then going into the Valentine's um, stuff, I picked up this jar of glitter. And this is fine glitter in this pink. I thought that would be really cute to do um, rosettes with on the edge of rosettes. This was so pretty. This is little hearts. Um, very light pink hearts. I thought that was really cute to put in my little shaker mixes. I may pick up another one of those if I go back and see them. Um, I picked up these little gift tags. I just thought those were really cute. And it says, hello, love. 
so those were really cute so i picked up those it's um six of those in a pack great for valentine's gifts or for crafting as well as this you know we can make our own little rosettes but for a dollar six of them they're already made why not and then i also picked up this um i don't know why it's just little banners um, with these little pom-poms on there but again it was only a dollar and they're already made for me so you know i just went on and picked it up i thought it would be cute to um use on a project or something like that which i really want to do i want to you know do some projects um ahead of time because i have been like not keeping up not keeping up a lot of stuff going on though so oh man okay so now i'll share with you guys oh real quick i still got uh, two more things from um target so i did pick up this heart-shaped mirror and it is like that wooden kind of um uh, pattern and then it's, you know, it has the mirror in there. And this was um, $3. So I did pick up that. I thought that was really neat. I like the color of it, like the wood grain or whatever. And I thought it would be pretty hanging somewhere. And then last but not least from Target, I did pick up this tray. And this one says, hello, love. And I love this tray. And they only had one, so I went on and grabbed it. It was $5 in their um, new dollar spot section for Valentine's Day. So I did pick that up. I had a lot of different goodies, but I used restraint, even though I was using a gift card to pay for my son, which was so awesome. Um, so I did go over to um, Dollar Tree and I did pick up um, a couple of these Valentine's bags. I thought these were so pretty. I do give my kids Valentine's um, little gifts, you know, socks, candy, stuff like that. Um, maybe a little bear or something. I don't know. I give them something for Valentine's Day though. So I picked up these little bags for that. And for $1 for three, you cannot beat that. And then I did pick up the Happy Valentine's Day truck. This is the the truck for Valentine's Day that Dollar Tree has. It is really big. Um, I still would love to find the little wooden truck because, yeah, this one is huge. Um, I was trying to see if it would, if like you could do like the little um, tray, you know, the, um, you know, the little trays that we've been using. But, um, oh, thank you. I'm dropping stuff. But anyway, um, that is it. That is all that I have to share with you guys. Um, I hope to be back soon to share a project or two and um, anything else that comes my way. So that is it, guys. As always, if you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. And I'll get back with you as soon as I possibly can. Take care, guys. Bye.